Oh, hey, uh, Dylan, you got a little something, you got a little something right here. You should probably, no, uh, no, you didn't quite get it. A bit to the, a bit to the. You know what, leave it, it suits you. Nintendo made a surprise overnight announcement that they'll be shutting down online services for both Wii U and 3DS software in six months, because surprises aren't always nice. Welcome to the real world! That you can't escape on your 3DS or Wii U. According to Nintendo, early April 2024 will mark the end of online competitive and cooperative play, internet rankings, and content delivery features like SpotPass. As for software from other publishers on the devices, Nintendo just says there are some exceptions. It's a major bummer for these still active communities for Splatoon 1 and Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U and Mario Kart 7 and Monster Hunter 4 on the 3DS. Entire Animal Crossing New Leaf Villages will lose all tourism revenue. For the two llamas running a family-owned furniture restoration business, the loss of visits from antiquing anthropomorphic animals is practically a death sentence. Think of the llamas. Fortunately, Pokemon Bank, which allows you to transfer mons between different games, sure, will still work for some length of time, although Nintendo doesn't even seem sure about that. But the Play Pokemon Twitter account is urging players to transfer to the Switch and mobile app Pokemon Home at their earliest convenience. Oh, perfect. Charlie the Charmander takes weeks to adjust to new locations and moving is very stressful for him. Diablo 4, the game everyone forgot about because Baldur's Gate 3 released and also because it got worse, is officially coming to Steam this month, making it the second Blizzard game to arrive on the platform after Overwatch 2. The release date is set for October 17th, coinciding with both Diablo's second season and a massive update that will supposedly make leveling faster and generally make the game better until they release another update that makes things worse again. It's the circle of life. But apparently at least one mega billionaire still likes the game as Elon Musk played it surrounded by candles during a test of Twitter slash X's desktop live streaming capability from an account named, I believe it's pronounced CyberGamer420. <laughs> a handle I can only assume it'll be his streamer name. Unfortunately for Elon, his later stream on his main account, also by Candlelight, suffered from screen flickering and an audio glitch that made his voice sound like he started anamorphing into a chipmunk and got stuck halfway. I think that's the plot of book nine. But I'm sure he'll get all that fixed. He's incredibly productive. He's the CEO of multiple companies, the father of 11 children, and he still has time to grind to level 100 in Diablo 4? What's your secret, Elon? Is it billions of dollars? It's billions of dollars probably, isn't it? <laughs> Forza Motorsport, not to be confused with Forza Motorsport, has had its early access release today and has received mostly positive reviews from critics. PC Gamer calls it the closest PC gaming has to Gran Turismo, which is true in that it's a game for people that are serious about cars, but don't like, you know, make it their identity. And like, oh, Andy agrees. He's <laughs> a big car guy. The entire set of course of fan base is just coming for us now. <laughs> The game has been lauded for its gorgeous background visuals that especially pop with ray tracing and ray tracing ambient occlusion turned on, though it's been criticized for not featuring 4K 60fps ray tracing on the Xbox Series X. Also, according to Games Radar, there's an issue where one AI just launches ahead of everyone else like the car ate an extra large bean and cheese burrito before the race, and it's starting to feel the consequences of its actions. <laughs> Apparently, this has been an issue since Forza Motorsport 6, a game that released nine years ago. But it's fun, so. <laughs> IGN also criticized the RPG-ifying of the game, which requires players to drive for hours in each car to unlock their upgrades for that car. And some cars smell terrible because they won't stop eating bean and cheese burritos. Audi R8, you know you're lactose intolerant. And you're also a car. <laughs> Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Origin PC, provider of sick gaming machines, and this October, great deals on said gaming machines. This month, save up to $275 on their line of pre-built desktops, up to $150 off their 40 series Eon laptops, and up to $900 off their Evo 17S laptop, plus free US ground shipping. All of Origin's PCs and laptops include lifetime support, so if your warranty has expired, you can still call or email their support team for assistance. Learn more about Origin PC's special offers by clicking the link down below. You know that time your dad tried to play test a game to see if it was age appropriate for you, but he couldn't figure out the controls, so you got to play Halo when you were like six? That's basically quick bits. Assassin's Creed Mirage has had its normal access release today, meaning that anyone can play it without paying extra. 
which is how all games used to work. Critics agree the game is a return to the franchise's roots, though some felt the game feels old. Make it like the old game. Hmm, feels old. Ubisoft immediately made the game more modern by adding de nouveau software in the day one patch. I just hope they added my favorite feature from the first game, where an assassin covered head to toe in throwing knives can blend in as a defenseless holy man by just going, Wait, where'd Riley go? Why is there this holy man here? No assassins here. Uh... <laughs> Have you been unable to stop thinking about the decommissioned 2017 hero shooter Gigantic? Have you woken up in the middle of the night praying its shutdown was just a cruel dream? Then you're in luck because Gearbox is bringing the game back for two glorious days from now until this Saturday, for some reason. I remember there being some hype for Gigantic, but due to delays, it was beaten to market by a little game called Overwatch? That's right. There's an alternate universe full of HD DVDs and gamers disappointed by Gigantic 2. Silent Hill Ascension, which was announced back in May, will apparently launch this month on Google Play. But it's not a video game, according to Jacob Navok, CEO of Genvid, the thing's publisher. It's just a video of you climbing up the Silent Hill. <laughs> Press A to shh. <laughs> Genvid calls these things massively interactive live events, which sound like a mix of Netflix's Bandersnatch style choose your own adventure and a game show with audience voting. Except the voting comes in the form of story decisions that affect every viewer's experience that viewers can spend influence to participate in and they earn the influence through puzzles and other mechanics. And you know what? I, that's a game. Sorry, Jacob. Um, I the other Jacob, you. Th th that Jacob. I, I I don't know what we're talking about. I was I was walking up a hill. <laughs> Square Enix has caused a minor controversy by confirming the pronunciation of a character's name in the upcoming Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Unlike the original game, the remake has both voice acting and arms that end in hands rather than low poly stumps. Gaming's come a long way. This has placed its developers in the unfortunate position of having to take a stance on the long debated name of a RoboCat party member. Square Enix has sided with fans who pronounced it phonetically in English as Kate Sith, disappointing others who interpreted it as Ket She, based on the name's origin in Gaelic mythology as a black cat spirit that steals the souls of the dead. I just like to think of it as if Kate Bush turned to the dark side. And former WWE champion Randy Orton reportedly paid $1,000 in return for the runes necessary to get his Elden Ring character to level 100, proving that technically any game can be paid to win if you have enough money. Orton apparently loved Elden Ring, but lost patience with the early game grind, making him one of the few people who would rather take on The Undertaker than get spanked by Margaret the Fell Omen another 40 times. And you're asking to get spanked unless you come back next week on Tuesday? Yeah. For more Game Linked. And I'll be spanking you. Okay, there's no, no one will actually be spanked, but. Not if you don't come, not if you come back. We do it because we love you.